The Tilney Pass is a 6,6 km long pass that runs along the east-west axis in the southern shadow of the Warmwaterberg in the very heart of the Sanborna Wildlife Reserve. There's an altitude variance of 107 meters over that distance, which produces a mild average gradient of 1 in 61, but there are some much steeper sections at 1 in 9 near the eastern end and summit point. This pass is only drivable by paying guests of the reserve and is not freely publicly accessible. The pass forms a long and intricate traverse in tandem with the Sandfonteinsport or Tilney Gorge North, connecting the southern entrance gate with the Sondwana and Sanborna lodges in the north near the Balea Dam with the attractively sited Tilney Manor forming a small oasis between the two passes. Once you've exited the Sandfonteins port at its southern end adjacent to the Tilney Manor, this intersection also marks the western starting point of the Tilney Pass. We filmed this pass from west to east. The pass is a combination of a port, a kloof and a mountain pass and displays distinct characteristics of all three variants. There are multiple mostly dry riverbed crossings and there are 34 bends, corners and curves to contend with. Some of these are very sharp and two are in excess of 100 degrees radius. On the northern side of the road, the long 1000 meter high Warmwaterberg stretches away majestically into the distance, whilst to the right a jumble of ridges and peaks, which include Hoerfontein Sokoppe and Brandkop, which have a similar height of between 950 and 1000 meters. The valley between these two ranges form the Tilney Kloof and provide for a scenic and attractive drive through this pristine countryside. On the day of filming, the road surface was badly corrugated, forcing a very low speed to reduce camera shake. We strongly recommend tyre deflation to anyone self-driving through the reserve and a tyre pressure of 1.2 bar would be appropriate. A four-wheel drive vehicle is not a prerequisite to drive along the main roads. At San Bona, in 2002, the focus was shifted from private lodge development to the creation of exclusive five-star accommodation for nature-based tourism. Tilney Manor was opened in 2002. It's an original farmhouse dating back to 1898 and is named after Thomas Tilney. He was born on the 15th of July 1816 in North Shields, then called Northumberland in England a successful marine captain, harbour master and finally a magistrate in the Cape Civil Service. He eventually became the resident magistrate of Swellendam and passed away in 1899. Today, Tilney Manor bears his family name and still falls within the jurisdiction of the Swellendam municipality. In 2009, two new lodges, Gondwana Family Lodge and the Dweka Tented Lodge were completed, adding to the historical Tilney Manor. Dweka is set in a magnificent horseshoe bend of a dry riverbed with a breathtaking view of the cliffs that protect it, whilst Gondwana Family Lodge is a modern thatched two-story lodge with awe-inspiring views of the Ballet Dam and the distant picturesque Anaisberg Mountains. In 2011, ownership was assumed by Dubai World Africa and the reserve was restructured under the Shamwari Group. In 2012, a seasonal explorer camp was initiated, a two-day walking safari with luxurious tents as accommodation, giving a sense of how the original safaris were enjoyed. The location changes each summer in order for repeat guests to truly get a sense of this unique Karoo wilderness area. In 2015, San Bona was purchased by the Kaleo Foundation, a non-profit conservation organization. The birth of a new beginning for San Bona Wildlife Reserve then began. Existing conservation projects will continue and be enhanced to ensure the vital protection of this pristine Karoo wilderness area.